Hello, I am Mike Evans, the creator of cyberpunk animated web series slash music project XRL7 and welcome to the side series XRL7 Inspirations, where I touch upon the various movies, artists, anime, games, etc. which I've enjoyed through the years which have directly or indirectly influenced XRL7. And today we're looking at Delphine Software's 1991 classic, Another World, or Out of This World as it's known in some countries. This game is a stunning cinematic masterpiece. There was absolutely nothing else like it at the time. In it, you journey across a harsh alien landscape, fighting for survival and admiring the occasional view. And this game was largely created by one guy, French developer Eric Chahi. Sorry if I've butchered that. Who was developing it in his spare time with sound design by this guy. Sorry, I don't want to destroy another name. You take the role of physicist Lester Knight Shakin, and in your private lab, you're running various experiments with a particle accelerator for mysterious reasons, just like CERN, and it's high tech. The lab computer can invade your privacy and comment on what you have in your pocket. Lester runs an experiment during a thunderstorm, but lightning strikes and launches him into a barren alien world. Another world. <clears throat> The first section finds Lester teleporting into some water along with a big chunk of his desk and emerging to find all sorts of dangerous creatures from tentacle water things, cruelly floor things, more tentacle grabby eaty things and this beast that chases him down. Fortunately some humanoid like species saves the day, or do they? The environment of Another World is simultaneously gorgeous and unsettling and surreal, giving you that real sense of isolation and unfamiliarity. How did Eric get this game looking so good on a single floppy disk that holds 1.4 megabytes of data? Yeah, these were the days where you really had to make each byte count, work that space optimization. Not now, where it's like, yeah, one gig video? Yeah, stick it in there, they can just download it. But Eric started experimenting with polygons instead of the usual style of bitmap which freed up a lot of space and allowed for much of the awesome graphics, combined with the art of rotoscoping which is when you have some real life footage and essentially draw over it to maintain that realistic feel. Anyway so Lester is taken captive but after a bit of swinging around he finally makes a friend who has this iconic line. My Zuluva. What? My Hoover? I remember reading a review of this game as a kid in an Amiga magazine where they referred to this character as Dave. I don't know why, maybe an in-joke in the magazine, but it always stuck with me. So Dave is on the run with you and you've got to help each other out in order to survive. For example, watching his back while he unlocks doors using your brand new weapon, a laser pistol. And how does it work? A quick pull of the trigger fires a shot. Holding it down and releasing puts up a shield to protect you against other shots. But holding it down even longer and you get this insane ball of energy that rips through doors and walls. But if you get it to that point by accident, mate, you're just gonna have to keep your finger on the trigger forever because you can't turn it off. And recharging the gun is a therapeutic full body experience. Without giving a play by play of everything in the game, it's just a great unique experience. I recall that the SNES version had a whole extra level, which, you know, didn't bother me. But they also had this line removed in the bathhouse scene because it was too much for Nintendo. So, you know, they didn't get to see Alien crack. There was a sequel called Heart of the Alien for Sega CD where you control Dave, but this was not made by Eric himself, but by Interplay and didn't have the success of its predecessor. But Delphin did make Flashback, very similar polygon rotoscope style and similar gameplay to another world which is something for another video. This game is well well worth a look and there's been various anniversary versions released so you can check them out today on modern platforms with some updated graphics that actually do complement and maintain the character of the original. Unlike some <laughs> Monkey Island Special Editions. Right I think I've said enough on this for today I gotta to get back to nudging these pixels. Thanks for watching, please do consider liking, subscribing, supporting the project on Patreon, that's huge. We've got tons of awesome exclusive rewards and music there, and checking the music out on Spotify or whatever your musical outlet of choice is. Until next time, catch you later.